Today is May 25th, 2017. It is day 126 in a Donald Trump White House regime. Donald Trump is a bull in a china shop. Well, that's the good news. The bad news, the FBI is chasing Jared Kushner down. He's under investigation big time. But let's get to the big story today. If you Google, do a Google on Donald Trump, you get 361 million results in 0.66 seconds. And the big story, of course, is that Donald Trump shoved the Montenegro prime minister. And many people will say, oh, that's just Donald Trump. He's a bull in a china shop. And that may be true. But this incident looked a little bit more like a bully, which everybody knows Donald Trump is a bully. The problem is it feeds the stereotype that Americans are just, you know, like the ugly American in Europe. So maybe there is something to stereotypes. How can you argue with that? Let's take a look at the incident. Here comes the ugly American. Boom! Push it, look him, watch him push out the chest like a peacock. (laughs) I mean, if that's not an ugly American in Europe, uh, I mean, well, he's not yelling and screaming for a beer or anything, but many people may not know where Montenegro is, and it's a small little country, tiny there. I think it's smaller than Sardinia, and that's why it sort of looks bad. I mean, Donald Trump probably would not have pushed Putin out of the way like that, but being little Montenegro, he did. It kind of looks bad, and talking, it's, I believe, the country smaller than Sicily. Talking about Sicily, that's where Donald Trump has just arrived. He is now in Sicily, ahead of the G7. Now, of course, he's there, I believe, to with the G7 summit. But, of course, what is the mainstream media focused on? That Donald Trump was holding hands with Melania. Yeah, this is the big news today, apparently, to mainstream corporate news. The prostitutes. Melania let him hold his hand. Humans really are silly creatures, aren't they? I mean, the things that humans focus on, like holding hands, begging an old man to put a gold medal over your neck, putting your hand on a glowing globe, putting pieces of paper in a wall and praying, and an entourage parade that goes into the sacred city So you can talk to the holy man and he can tell you about climate change. I mean, the things that humans focus on, it it just seems so silly in the animal kingdom. If 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 animals could talk, we would probably be the the laughing stock of all the animals. What, What the things we worry about. And then the things that we get involved with, like Ponzi schemes. I mean, could you imagine tigers and bears getting involved in a Ponzi scheme? That's what the pension system is. The pension system is a Ponzi scheme. So as Donald Trump is over in Sicily, probably there just for a vacation, but he's going to pretend to mingle with the G7, and they're going to talk about important things while our pension system is collapsing in America. As we have no jobs here, and and did I mention that... There was a factory that just opened up somewhere in America that could employ, uh, you know, 10,000 American deplorables. Did I mention that? No, I didn't, because it did not happen. And Donald Trump's over in Sicily talking to G7. Maybe all the G7 leaders will be able to get our factories opened up. Because it looks to me like our company, not only do we have factories not opening up, we have companies shutting down. And then when the companies shut down, they get sued. And then who do you think walks in when the company shut down? Who do you think looks for any assets that may be left over? Oh, welcome to the IRS, the corporation that will break you. Government regulations, red tape, permits. But the IRS, now that's a special type of tyranny there. That's a special IRS. You better watch out. And But does Donald Trump care about the IRS and tyranny? No, he's got some vacation time over in Sicily where they're going to mingle with the G7 and hold hands with Melania because that's really all that's important. Just holding hands with Melania as print pack 
lays off 45 people. As Banana Republic shuts down stores and uh, supermarkets shut down, retails, retailers just can't make it because Americans don't have that extra cash. The only way we can eat is if we go beg the government for a snap card. And I guess that's how Walmart's going to get super rich. Because the government gives us a snap card. And then we go to Walmart and buy this cheap GMO food. So Walmart's not only going to take our money, they're going to make us sick. And the government's going to finance the whole thing. But Donald Trump, you know, just enjoy yourself over in Sicily. Because we're doing fine here. Seriously. Seriously, Donnie. Just stay over in Europe. Do that summer thing. I know how those rich people... Yes, I'm going to be summering. I'm going to summer in Europe this year. So, Donnie, you might as well just stay in Europe. Do the whole summer thing. We'll just... We'll take care of our problems ourselves, Don. You know, that make America a great thing. You know, just forget about it. But I'm, I'm really... I really am. I really am happy that they worked their problems out. You know, what do they got? Like a, a marriage counselor that flies with them on Air Force One and... They sit Melania down and say, Melania, you know, that's just really disrespectful that you don't let the president hold your hand. And, you know, they got that all figured out. I'm so happy for them. I really am. I don't know what I would do if, if Melania were to drop his ass. I just don't know what I would do with myself. And then, of course, you go back to Old Faithful. While he's in Sicily, you got to go with what works. Make America safe again. Yes, while we're in Sicily. I mean, how's he going to do that? Was he going to talk to some of the godfathers? Some of the mafiosi over there in Sicily. And he said, yes, I'd like to bring you back to America with us. And you godfathers, I'd like you to protect New York and protect America for us. I mean, is this guy delusional? Talking about make America safe again while he's in Sicily? I'm, you, you really do have to be either senile or delusional or think Americans are stupid. That's probably what it is. These rich bastards really think of, that the Americans are just stupid people. Make America great again. And he'll and then make America safe again. Wow, he's in Europe on vacation. I mean, what what are we? What do you think we're stupid? Apparently they think we're stupid. And I guess I'll prove that with this little statement here. I mean, look, the more I look at this picture, it almost looks like Donald Trump is peeing here. Look, look, he just Can you imagine him just peeing? He's on the wall, he's just so calm peeing. Yeah, go ahead and put your little prayer in the hole there, Don. I mean, it, uh, oh, yeah, uh, Americans, yeah, we're stupid, all right. Okay, let's go on with the news here. Uh, it looks like that the appeals court has upheld the block on Donald Trump's travel ban. So the appeals court has blocked Donald Trump's plans, but Donald Trump is going to appeal it to the Supreme Court. So that's some big news today. We'll see what else is kind of a big news. Uh, we've already talked about the bully shoving Montenegro. Oh, here's the story we briefly talked about yesterday that the GOP politician in Montana, his name is Greg Gianforte, and he's the one who body slammed the uh, reporter from The Guardian. And so let's listen to the sound effects of that body slam because apparently this guy has some anger issues and he doesn't like reporters, you know, approaching him and asking tough questions and they, they got into a little tussle or more like it was Gianforte body slamming the young kid against the wall or something. But let's listen to the, uh, let's listen to the sound effects. Now, here's the thing. You know, I like a body slamming joke, just like the next fella. But <laughs> if you're going to get body slammed, you don't calmly get up and say, Oh, you body slammed me. I mean, when you get body slammed, trust me, the wind gets knocked out of you. You don't say, Oh, you broke my glasses. Can I have you guys' name? I'm going to write your names down. So, I mean, this kid is probably just a sissy. The reporter is a sissy. 
Yeah, but but there must have been something going on. We heard the tussle, and maybe he, you know, maybe he pushed him up against the wall. So some people just like to exaggerate. If I had to guess, he probably grabbed him, put him up against the wall, and glasses broke. But body slamming, come on. I I think there's a little exaggeration going on here. Matter of fact, I know there is, because if he gets body slammed by a real man, he ain't going to get up and start talking about it. But it looks like he's going to learn a valuable lesson. You cannot touch these snowflakes today. He's going to have to probably get before the judge and say, I'm sorry, judge. I'm, I'll take that anger management course and uh, please just slap me on the wrist. So then we go to another story that I don't know is true or not true, but apparently they're reporting that Ariana Grande said she would hope all her fans would die. I mean, it's just hard to believe that she would say this. I mean, I know she works for the dual citizens in Hollywood, and it's all a big joke, but this is out there. Alex Jones is reporting on it, so what makes me wonder is Alex Jones going to have to apologize for the third time. You know, three apologies and you're out. I mean, first he had to apologize to the pizza man, and now he just apologized to the yogurt man. These are serious allegations. I, I didn't get to see his video. I don't know if he has a recording of her saying it, but these Hollywood people, they have good lawyers. And, uh, well, talking about Hollywood, you know, they can pick out any of these young girls. How many young girls are there? There's like millions and millions of young girls like her with no talent at all, but they just happen to pick her out. And with their massive, powerful Hollywood machine, they can make this girl famous. It's amazing, these dual citizens. We're talking about dual citizens with amazing power and money. Jared Kushner is under FBI scrutiny. As I said earlier, the FBI is chasing him down. He's got problems. And let's see what some of the uh, news here is. Apparently, uh, Jared Kushner talked to the Russians before uh, during the campaign. Jared, not only Jared Kushner, now we find out that Jeff Sessions talk to the Russians. This is uh, very troubling. The news is reporting that this investigation is very, is finds a very troubling pattern. Everything that Jared Kushner gets involved with is troubling. He's like a predator. He is a super predator. And here's a good point uh, this guy brings up, that the security clearance for Jared must be suspended now. I mean, he, he's vulnerable. He's vulnerable to blackmail. And I guess Lindsey Graham is also. I mean, there's probably probably half of the people in Congress and half of the people in the Senate are vulnerable to blackmailing. Black, they're all perverts. And uh, but I guess America doesn't give a shit. America could care less. I mean, we who actually votes for these people? Like Lindsey Graham, who actually votes for these people? And no, nobody voted for. And that's the problem. Nobody voted for Jared Kushner, and that's why Americans are extremely upset with this guy. That's the major problem with the Washington, D.C. swamp. Unelected people who hold positions of huge power. And they can lie. They can lie and do anything they want to do. I mean, here it looks like Ivanka and Jared failed to disclose their mil million-dollar art collection. I mean, and who knows how much silver and gold they got hidden. So it looks like uh, Steve Bannon was right. I mean, yeah. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out that a guy, uh, na a Navy veteran, with, at Steve Bannon's age, the wisdom that he has compared to a 36-year-old slumlord, I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to find out that. I mean, the only reason why that slumlord is even sitting in the White House is because of who he married. And hopefully they're not going to be there much longer. I mean, the FBI is hot on their trail. And then... The evangelicals, they're a really strange group. I mean, the, the, the church-going people, they sort, of, they sort of look up to people like Jared Kushner and Ivanka. Oh, they're the special people, the chosen people. That's what really gets on my nerves. It irks me about the evangelicals, the, the Bible-thumping Christians. I mean, they're supposed to be Gentiles. They're supposed to be my people. But yet they put Jared Kushner... 
and his tribe. They put them up there on a pedestal. Oh, they're the chosen people. Let them run the Federal Reserve banking cartel. Let them have all the money because they're so brilliant. They're so smart. I mean, what are, what are we? What are, what are, what's us Gentiles? What are we, chopped liver? Come on, they've got these evangelicals fooled. They've got them brainwashed. I mean, somebody has to take these Bible thumpers and just slap them around a little bit and say, hey, listen, you're a damn Gentile. You pray to the God of the Gentiles. The hell with these, the chosen people. It's a bunch of bullshit. They ain't chosen people. They're slumlords. Yeah. Tell that to a, next time you see an evangelical, tell them that. Why do you put these slumlords up on a pedestal? Uh, they'll probably, oh, the Bible says they're chosen people. So I don't want to go off on a rant here, but that really irks me. Something, I am a born, I was born into a Christian family. But I'm not stupid enough to think that, oh, they are better than me. Because they're not. But don't tell Donnie that, because Donnie is enamored with these people. Anytime he got into trouble with the casinos, they came in to save him. Yeah, the New York, the New York kosher mafia, they came in and saved him. So you can't say Hitler, no. You can't say Hitler at all, because that makes Donnie and his tribe extremely mad. Sean Spicer found that out already. Poor little fella, he... He's like those evangelicals, you know, he puts that holy man up on a pedestal and he really did want to see the Pope. But Donald Trump said, hell no, no, you got to be punished. You see, this religious thing, that's our scam. And you cannot talk about Hitler and you cannot talk about Israel. Can't do that because, you know, that's our thing. That's our scam. And they got another scam going to those dual citizens. It's called Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is in the news today because it, went up to a, a new high, like 2,800, and then it collapsed. Yeah, I'm sure that made David Seaman really happy today. You see, they get in, these dual citizens, don't ever underestimate them. These dual citizens get in early, and then they have the machine. They got mainstream media, they got all the newspapers, they got, they got a huge monster of a machine. They can promote anything they want. And that's what happened. And you know the dual citizens are involved with the CIA and the Mossad. Remember, I, I've talked about this before. Bitcoin is nothing but an experiment. It's a CIA Mossad experiment. A test run, a test trial into the digital currency that the governments, the governments will be in control of. They're just testing Bitcoin. And of course, uh, the young people jumped on it hook, line, and sinker. So it was an extreme success. Bitcoin was extremely successful. And of course, now we're going to find out that it's going to come to an end because that's the way it's designed. You see, the governments control the money. The governments are never, ever going to let anybody else control the money without a fight. They're going to put up a good fight. So let's just take a look at over here. See, this is the area where David Seaman and he, his tribe, they buy here. They buy way back early. And then they have the media empire to pump it up. So let's go over it again. Early there, you got David Seaman, Jared Kushner, their people, they buy early. And then like I said, as it goes up, it's being pushed and pumped by the media empire. And they have the CIA has many, many ways of manipulating you. And then as we know today, it hit what, like 2,800? And then you have denial, you have fear, capitulation. This is the this is a this is the pattern. It just doesn't work. It works for everything, like the housing boom, the dot com boom. So here here's the actual chart of Bitcoin today. Supposedly it almost dropped five hundred dollars. So somewhere around twenty eight hundred, and then it dropped down to twenty four. Look at the volume here. See that's the problem when people want to sell. There's lots of volumes. You want you want to sell, but there's no buyers. We're talking about a bubble there. That's a bubble. Of course, this is a, a world economy now. When you're talking the internet, you cannot leave out the Chinese and the Asians. What actually helped push that up was the Chinese trying to get the, all the money out of China, the yen. So the, the Chinese were using the Bitcoin to get the money out of China. And of course, I don't know if the CIA 
thought about that. The CIA knew that sooner or later they were going to have to bring Bitcoin down. I don't know if this is if they chose this time. I mean, Bitcoin could go back up. For all we know, it could go back up. I we don't know how high it's going to go or how low it's going to go. All we know is that when bit when the when they decide to take Bitcoin out, they can do that easily. The government can easily shut Bitcoin down, and when they do that, they're going to say, "Oh, it's a great idea, but you know, Bitcoin had some problems. We're the government. We're going to do it better." And that's when the digital currency is going to be introduced. It really was a beautiful plan. I mean, I, I take my hat off to them. This was brilliant. Because, see, you have to convince the young people that it's a viable system. And the young people fell for Bitcoin, hook, line, and sinker. But when the, when the, when the young people get burned by it, and what, what we're looking at here is when that, that sucker topped off at 2800 and if you took David Seaman's recommendation. David Seaman was pumping this up even at two thousand dollars. He says, "Yeah, two thousand. You got to get in there. It's going up higher and higher and higher." And if you bought in at two thousand, and then it drops down to practically nothing later on, well, you're going to get burned, and then you're going to believe the government. Yeah, we we need the government to control this uh, digital currency. And so, I take my hat off to the government. They have engineered this almost perfectly. The young people will just go for it without any questions. Now, us old-timers, well, we're a different story. We're a different breed, us old-timers. Silver and gold, yeah, silver and gold. But not all the old people are smart. Actually, there's quite a few old people who are pretty stupid. Jeff Sessions is one of them. I mean, I have no respect for any of these 70 year old idiots who want to put more people in prison for victimless crimes. I mean, but Jeff Sessions has been caught up in the Russian investigation. Apparently Jeff Sessions did not disclose that he had some meetings with the Russians. I mean, these people are liars. Maybe Jeff Sessions is not that stupid. Maybe he's just sinister, that he wants to lock up poor people for drugs, when they don't hurt anybody. Maybe Jeff Sessions is just sinister. I'll be glad when he's gone. And I'm sure Jeff Sessions agrees with Donald Trump that Israel needs more money. Israel is the only country that's not going to get anything cut. And it's worse than that. Donald Trump just gave him some extra money on his trip over there. I mean, surprise, surprise. Who didn't see this coming? Donald Trump gives him a little extra money for defense. Yeah, let's go look at it. it says here. Increased military aid to Israel to help them maintain the country's military edge in the region. Let me get this straight. Israel's the only one in the region with what, like 300, 400 nuclear missiles or nuclear warheads. Nobody around them has a nuclear warhead and yet they need more of an advantage. Yes, America has been taken to the cleaners. What? Unbelievable. Yeah, do a search on how many nukes Israel has and do a search on how many nukes their neighbors have. Yeah, it'll be something like, what, three, four hundred to zero. Don't tell that to Donald Trump because he wants to give them more money. And he also wants to protect them. He wants to protect them with your son and your daughter. America, it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. Why are you going to sacrifice American men and women, American warriors? Why are we sacrificing them for those people over there? Somebody needs to wake up. Newt Gingrich, you know, he works for Donald Trump, and he's claiming that uh, everybody missed it. Donald Trump's big speech over there, everybody missed the meaning of it. That there's a a titanic shift in foreign policy, according to Newt, it's America first. I mean, now again, either Newt Gingrich is delusional, or he's a liar, or better yet, he just works for Donald Trump. A titanic shift. America first. That's what they want you to believe in this circus. Newt Gingrich and his wife, they're all part of the circus. So the truth is, there is no titanic shift. It's just one big circus, a big dog and pony show. They want you to believe that it's America first. 
But we know better, don't we? We don't. We know better. We know what their actions are. So we'll just wind today's segment down looking for some interesting news. Donald Trump shoves Montenegro Prime Minister Lieberman, takes his name off the FBI search. The FBI is chasing Jared Kushner down looking for criminal activity. And we'll just look for some other interesting news. The Pope, the Pope asked Melania if she's feeding him some pastries. They got a good laugh out of that. We talked about the famous Highway 1 landslide yesterday. The road is closed down. We've already talked about Jeff Sessions failed to disclose his Russian meeting. This could be good for America. If we can get Jeff Sessions out of there, maybe we can get some people out of prison. Maybe America can save some money if we get these people who have hurt nobody, have hurt nobody but themselves. If we can get them out of prison, we can do America a favor. Jeff Sessions would have to go. The Manchester attack suicide bomber, they arrested some of his family. We talked about that yesterday. This is uh, interesting. The Mount Everest climber, he got into the country illegally. What a big deal. I mean, I guess you have to go in lead to climb that stupid mountain. You have to go through official channels. <laughs> Look at that. He crossed illegally to climb a mountain that will kill you. The, Serp, the Sherpas. Everybody knows the Sherpas. They, uh, their lungs are set up better to climb that mountain. If you're going to go up there, you take a Sherpa with you as a guide. Apparently, through evolutionary process, their lungs are better to handle the thin air evolution. So we'll just keep on going down here, looking for news. I'll tell you what, I, what my old man told me about evolution. When they were teaching me evolution in school, I came home and the old man said, What they teach you today? And I said, Evolution. And he said, Well, if you want to think you came from monkeys, go ahead. But I, I didn't come from no monkeys. That's how the old man told me about evolution and uh, well, let's see if uh, the driver there Times Square driver crazy and we're just looking for some more inter interesting news that unfortunately there was no good news today I looked and looked I but there was no good news out there they're, they're going to charge the Montana uh, Republican Greg Gianforte they're going to charge him with a misdemeanor and he'll probably have to take anger management courses. Paul Ryan said, this should not have happened on my watch. Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan is a traitor, isn't he? He just wants to, what's he want to spend? Four or five trillion dollars of your money? There's, a, there's no, I don't think there's any other description for people in Congress and the Senate who want to spend four or five trillion dollars of Americans' money, I, I, I think the only description you can describe them with is traitor, treasonous traitor. And of course, yeah, that's a surprise. The U.S. is going to give Israel more money. Again, there was no good news today, unfortunately. Unfor I, we, we can take it. Americans are strong. We're strong. We're going to persevere. We're going to get through this mess. We're going to get through. Yes, the government may have to collapse. And the quicker that Donald Trump gives our money away, the quicker the government will collapse. We'll get, we'll get through this. And when it collapses, we'll rebuild. And we, uh, the advertisers, that's how they control you. They control us on YouTube. They control all the advertisers. They will just take the money away. If you're, telling, if you're talking about Seth Rich, if you're saying anything we don't like to talk about, if you're talking about DB and Israel... We'll just take the money away from you. We don't have to pay you any money. That's how they try to control me. They don't, they don't pay me. I don't get paid hardly anything on YouTube. I'm on that blacklist. I'm, I'm put at the bottom. When I tell the truth, if you tell the truth about Israel, you will not make a dime on YouTube. Trust me on that one. Ben Carson, well, he's part of the system. He's part of the system. Poverty is just a state of mind. I'm a doctor. I got $10 million in the bank. You are a poor person begging for a snap card. It's all a state of mind. And then Twitter, 
suspended. If you talk about the Seth Rich story, they are concerned about Seth Rich. They're doing everything they can to get people to stop talking about this Seth Rich thing. Because if the truth comes out, oh man, if the truth comes out, Hillary better run for the hills. Hillary and her whole tribe. And this is sad. This is very, Donald Trump is no different than Obama, is he? Donald Trump is no different than any, any other. He's bombing the shit out of everybody. Make money for the military industrial complex. And they wonder why our debt. It's run, then they wonder why we're going broke. Do you realize some of these bombs that we set off over there, some of them have like a thousand ounces of silver in these, these smart bombs? When these bombs go off, a thousand ounces of silver just go poof, they're gone. So trust me, get your hands on some silver, hide it well. Because every time, and you know how many bombs that George Bush, Obama, and Trump, you know how many bombs they put off in the last 15, 20, it'll go on 20 years? And every one of those bombs, a thousand ounces of silver just go poof, disappear. But if you tell the truth, you're a racist. Just like uh, James Watson, he discovered the DNA double helix. But the University of U Illinois, they disinvited him because he's a racist. You cannot tell the truth today. You tell the truth, they will not let you in. Cryptocurrency chaos, Bitcoin bounces back after crashing. As Asian fever reemerges, we've talked about that. The main driving force that's driving Bitcoin today is China and Asia. That's a fact. They're, the Chinese figured out a way to get their money out of China by using Bitcoin. The, trust me, the Chinese government will shut that down. So go ahead and listen to David Seaman. Go ahead and listen to Jared Kushner and their tribe. And uh, Bernie Madoff, everything that Bernie Madoff and his people tell you, just go out there and buy Bitcoin, buy a bunch of it. Because when people buy Bitcoin today, there's somebody selling. David Seaman and his people are selling and they're buying silver. Because silver is disappearing at an alarming rate. So again, tell your family members, let's make Israel great again. They are the chosen people. Yeah, yeah, yeah.